The city of San Francisco has followed the lead of neighboring Santa Clara County and banned all gatherings of a thousand people or more for two weeks. That ban will include Warriors games, which means yes, the other shoe we have all been waiting to drop has hit the floor. The Warriors plan to play tomorrow night's game against the Nets without fans. In a statement, the Warriors said, quote, we will continue to monitor this evolving situation closely to determine next steps for future games and events. We appreciate the understanding and patience of all of our fans, guests and partners during this unprecedented time. Now, the Washington DC's health department has also recommended that events featuring crowds of a thousand or more be postponed or canceled. The Wizards have four home games scheduled through next Friday, including this Friday against the Celtics. So we're keeping track of that, but this may soon be taken out of individual teams hands. The league's board of governors is scheduled to hold a conference call about 90 minutes from now in which it will discuss how to proceed as the impact of this virus grows. League sources told our Adrian Morjanowski last night that scenarios include all the way up to moving games to cities that don't have reported cases of the virus, which could include non NBA cities. We could also see more or all teams hold games without fans. The director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, told a congressional committee today he would recommend the NBA not allow fans at any games. There's, of course, also the more drastic step available of suspending game operations for a period of time. All of these decisions would, of course, heavily affect league revenue, especially if games without fans extend into the playoffs. But the NBA has said the health of its players and fans will be its driving and primary concern. So, Coach, how would you feel or really approach if you are Steve Kerr tomorrow right. playing a game without fans and getting your players mentally ready for that? I think you still you still got to approach it as, a, as an important game for your team to get better. I mean, I think that's the bottom line, especially for Steve. He's got a young crew of guys. He's just trying to develop guys. You prepare them like it's in the other game. It will be weird because mm -hmm. I remember even in high school days when our fans didn't get along and they would brawl over in the neighborhood <laughs> over here, we would start playing games with no crowd. Mm -hmm. And it's really weird to right. not have fans in the crowd, but I think it is. You grew up in Inglewood, not that far from our studio here, right. right? Yep. And they would they would clear the fans out sometimes? South Central. Oh, I'm sorry. Because if you say Inglewood, then I'm going to get in trouble. In the <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that goes but, into the Paul Pierce High School versus right, New York yeah, High yeah, School exactly. and the whole, See, I'm sorry, you okay. Start trouble. Right, but they would play, so you, you, you played some Play games, games without, without a crowd. Okay. And not tell the crowd where the site was or where you were playing that so they couldn't follow the school bus and all of that kind of stuff. But this is a whole nother deal. You're talking about people's health that's involved in player health. And so I think the coaches got to go about it the same way, prepare their teams to try to win a game. Uh, and, and we'll see where we go from here. Yeah, you know, the, the funny thing is, I was having this conversation yesterday at the, uh, the Laker game with Eric Pincus mm -hmm. from uh, Bleacher mm -hmm. Report, uh, who's a, a big cap guy. And we we're talking about if this becomes the norm across the league, what are the potential cap ramifications? Mm -hmm. Because you're talking about loss of revenue of gate, loss of revenue of concessions, yeah. parking, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. That could equal almost, in, in a, if we go from here to the end of the playoffs with no fans in the crowd, but we play the games, we're talking about maybe a $20 million drop in the salary cap next year, mm -hmm. which means a drop in the luxury tax, which means every team might be in the, tax in the tax a year from now. And so how does the league respond to that? Because obviously when you're planning two, three years ago, no one would expect this kind of scenario right. to happen. And so those are kind of the ripple effects, the unintended consequences of this. But obviously, like Coach said, health is number one. I mean, mm -hmm. we're not talking about we're talking about people's lives here. This is mm -hmm. real. And yeah. and most importantly, when local governments say no, yep. you can't just thumb your nose. You have to go along with it. Yeah, absolutely. I would think that if this got to a point where we went months without the revenue from the fans and, and all that stuff you're talking about, they might make some exceptions on luxury tax, yep. repeat violators, or things like that. That's all something that can get worked out right. over the summer once yeah. we get a handle on what this is. I think the hardest thing right now is for players to sort of get a handle on how to approach all this stuff. <laughs> because to your point, for the Warriors, yeah, they're not in the playoff hunt. They've right. been limited. You know, every, every, every game is just a chance to get get, get better, better. <laughs> um, get better. <laughs> but you have teams in, in pretty serious playoff races and Absolutely. races for seeding and they're going to have to have that energy that they need and you've heard players around the league over the last couple days push back not because they they don't want players or, or fans or anyone to, to, ha to have those health concerns met but just it's the idea of playing without fans just right. feels so uncomfortable to them it's going to be a big thing to get used to because it's happening huge so. adjustment they're going to have to make. summer league 2008 <laughs> thomas and mag <laughs> big arena nobody there the, the last two games of summer league oh yeah <laughs> so everybody's the gone tail end when everyone's gone <laughs>
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.